these are considerations that actually has been in discussion, not just within the organization or the state, but really at the federal level. There's a body called the Advisory Committee on Infectious Practices that advises the CDC. And typically after a vaccine is approved by the FDA, the ACIP, the advisory body, actually takes that information, looks at it and says, all right, it's good for distribution and we think it should be given to these folks. It's the same thing with the COVID vaccine. The ACIP was actually reviewing the data at the same time that the FDA is reviewing the data and have proposed an allocation process by which we prioritize individuals who are critical to maintaining healthcare and societal functioning, as well as individuals who may suffer from severe COVID or actually die from COVID. So the first groups of, of people that the ACIP believes we should vaccinate include healthcare workers, residents and staff of long-term care facilities, essential workers, uh, seniors, adults over 65, and adults who actually have chronic medical conditions that make them more likely to have severe COVID. But even within that entire group, you can imagine we may not have enough vaccine. So in fact, they subdivided that grouping even further into what they call phase 1A, 1B, 1C. And phase 1A will be allocated to healthcare workers and residents of long-term care facilities along with the staff in those facilities. Healthcare workers will be the responsibility of most healthcare organizations to actually vaccinate their employees long-term care residents and staff. Um, the federal government actually has a partnership with CVS and Walgreens. So a number of these vaccines are going directly to CVS and Walgreens. And CVS and Walgreens have been partnering with these um, facilities to bring vaccine and to vaccinate the residents and the staff.